Hi, great student. So in today's video, we are going to do SRR journals. So this question paper uh, that I have is one of the previous question paper uh, which was written in June examination. Okay, so let's look at this question. It was question six. They say it's concept, salaries, and wage and ethics. So we are going to calculate uh, some salaries. Basically, uh, this question, guys, is from a chapter of salaries and wages. Okay, so the first part that we have uh, is a true or false, which we can't ignore in this case, so that we will have some understanding. Okay, we have 6.1.1 until to 6.1.1.5 okay four and five okay let's start with the first one they say that the acronym uh, sdl uh, it is standing for skills development levy you have to answer whether it's true or false yes sdl guys is skills development levy which means that the answer will be true Okay, then the following one, they said that SDL is paid by employer who is payroll exceed 300. No, it's false. It must exceed 500,000 per annum. So, which means that 300 is false. It's false. Okay, 6.1.3. UIF is normally 1% of the net salary. Is the net salary? Yes, it's 1%, but it's not net salary. It's gross salary. So, in other words, we have to calculate what 1% of gross salary, not net. Remember net, we already deducted what? Uh, our deductions. So, answer is false. Because they said a net, and it must be gross. Okay. Net salary are also known as creditors for salaries. Yes, it's true. It's also called creditors. For salary okay the next one pay as you n pay must be paid over to a treasure is it true no it's paid to sars not to treasure which means that the answer is false when a business collect pay as you n from employees they may must pay it to sars not to treasure okay 6.2 you are provided with information extracted taken from the wages journal and salaries journal of the uh, dealers for May 2018. They have employees that are paid weekly and monthly. Okay, 6.2, 10 marks. Calculate the missing amount of the wages and salaries journal for May 2018. Okay, let's answer this one first. Okay. Or maybe we can just read the other part. Then after that, we're going to just answer everything. Okay. They also said, answer the following question. 6.3.1. Provide double entry for pension contribution. We have to indicate debit side and credit side. And 3.2.1. The net salary calculated under 6.2.5 um, of the salary general will be posted to salaries account in the journal and which account we have to answer that okay now let's prepare our uh, 6.2 which says that calculate the missing amount in the wages and salaries journal for may 2018 okay it has been indicated by 6.2.1 and 6.2.2 we have 6.2.3 and we also have 6.2.4 and 6.2.5. 6.2.5. So, in other question papers, guys, like the one I did on the previous video, we were required to calculate everything. So, make sure that you also know how to calculate everything so that you will be able to answer uh, this one as well. Okay, let's look at 6.2.1. It's total under information number A. They are looking for total. Okay, total for what? For deduction. Okay, deduction that we have in this case, we have pension fund, medical aid, UIF, and pay as you earn, which means that we must get total of those uh, four items, which means that we have to add them together. Okay, we are going to add amount uh, of 160 and 240 and 2874. 
as well as it online okay and if you get uh, you, you, you calculate this guys you are going to get amount of 1237 and 74 that's the answer for 6.2.1 okay now let's move to the next one the next one they said that uh, we have to calculate a net wage a net wage when we talk about net salary or a net wage is gross minus what deductions deductions is the one that we calculate which means that now let's take a gross wage gross wage is amount of um, 2874 then now we have to subtract what total deduction then we're gonna get net okay our net uh, is 1,237.74. Then we're going to get our net of 1,636.26. Okay. Then 6.2.3. Uh, let's check is UIF 6.2.3 is UIF that's what they want us to calculate so in this case they didn't tell us anything but we know that UIF is 1% of gross salary like they were what we were explaining under troll force UIF is always 1% of gross salary not net a gross okay now let's check let's go back to gross a gross it was a uh, amount of 2874 now we have to multiply by 1 over 100 which is 1% then it will give you a uh, amount of 28 rand and 74 just like that very simple okay and the next one uh, 6.2.4 uh, let me check on the table they are looking for pay as you earn all right but pay as you earn guys the percentage is not stable to everyone it depends on how much are you earning that's why it's called pay as you earn so that's what is the meaning of pay as you earn so now uh, because it's, it's not given the percentage but we have all the figures which means that we can calculate it as a what as a balancing figure okay if you check we have total deduction of 13,000 uh, apology let me go yes 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 information number B okay we have a total deduction of uh, 13,261 now we have to subtract the other deduction then we're gonna calculate pay as a, as a what as a balancing figure the other deduction is 1480 minus 1450 minus 2111 okay and you're gonna get amount of 8220 just like that very simple okay now let's proceed to the next one 6.2.5 we also have 6.2.6 okay 0.5 they are looking for net salary and net salary guys we already calculate a uh, example of it under 6.2 okay which means that we're going to take a gross uh, which is 21,110 and we subtract um, our deductions which is 13,261 which is going to give us 7,849 okay that's our net imagine guys you work for 21,000 and you get paid 7,800 that's too much the deduction is too much okay now 
Uh, let's proceed. The next one is two point six point two point one SDL. SDL skill development level guys is also one percent like UIF of growth. Okay, which means that we're just gonna take a twenty one thousand. 110 multiply by one percent which is going to give you uh, 211 and 10 just like that so this is how you should calculate uh, your journal guys okay moving to the next one uh, they say that we we have to do provide the double entry for pension contribution in the wage journal. Okay, this is question six. Point three point one. Okay, a journal, guys, is just to indicate which one is debit and which one is credit. So, a double entry for pension fund contribution, guys. Remember, uh, a wage. You have to debit it because it's expense. It's either a debit wage or you can debit pension fund. It's, it's still fine. Pension fund. Okay. And now you have to credit a pension pension fund okay this two patient fund guys is not the same this one is liability because it's going to increase what increase liability is the same knowledge of what um, accounting equation so this one is pension fund contribution contribution so this one you can just call it pension fund that's how you should answer question 6.3.1 okay 6.3.2 the net salary calculated a net salary remember under um throw force we said that a net salary is the same as what creditors salary the net salary calculated under 6.2.5 of the salary journal will be posted to salaries account in the ledger and which other account is also gonna recorded under creditors For salaries just like that okay then the last one uh, they say that the owner mr. Thomas they decided that he will not pay the money over PSEN this month as yes, he need cash okay he will make a double payment next month so you want to ignore a payment of PSEN to SARS this month because you want to pay it the other month as a double because now you want to use money okay now they say why are you against the decision he took provide a consequences or results for this action in one point obviously guys uh, if you are avoiding to pay sales we call it unethical action this is an ethical action okay uh, this money does not belong to him it belong to to sars so in other words if they find that you are taking money of pay as you earn, they can give you what we call penalties or you can even go to jail you can even go to jail for taking sars money you can be arrested it's, it's a serious case in south africa so that's what is needed in this question so this uh, um, question six it was 20 marks so it was a uh, almost like free guys so thank you so much you guys for watching please those who want to attend our extra class as soon as you realize that uh, we have online extra class of only 600 per month make sure that you join as early as possible don't wait for exam to come Come as early as possible so that we can be able to assist you in time with other 
uh, learners who are already joining us since the beginning of the year so i hope you enjoy and please make sure that you like this video so that you will get another videos that are related to grade 10 accounting in this channel see you next time guys